Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is currently approximately 11 a.m. in Honolulu, Hawaii on Tuesday, the 16th day of August, and this is the daily report for gold. We have gold continuing on its upward ascent, trading higher up about $20 on the day, currently trading at $17.86.20. As you can see, a print on the screen, and that is basis, a cash or spot month. For those clients trading a contract of COMEX December, the differential right now is about a $4 difference, so you can adjust prices as well as stops accordingly. First chart that I do want to take a look at this morning is a 360-minute chart. I did publish my latest commentary for Kitco.com. That went live and was published this morning. Wanted to share a little bit of the findings with you today. One note, I did receive a comment on the survey, and I thank all of you for spending the time to help me make this the best video newsletter that we can. But the comment was, why don't you publish your Kitco commentaries to your subscriber base before going live with Kitco? My answer to that question is I always do, in that the charts that I'm using and the information that I am presenting at Kitco is typically information that you and I as subscribers have been going over and going through over the last couple of days. There is typically not so much a new level of information that I convey, but I tend to put it into a different format. So trust me, as a subscriber, you're always getting this information first. Now, this is one of the charts that I used. And as you can see, this is the chart that we have been using for quite some time. On this particular chart right now, in terms of my upper level targets, my sense is that we will probably see, probably see a wave five here that's going to be about equal to wave one. And that is where I'm drawing this 1870 target price. Now, what I talked about in my article was something simply known as confluence. Confluence in terms of a technical approach to market trading is using similar or like technical studies and receiving similar results. The underlying assumption is not so much that the technical studies are different, but you're using two different technical studies. So this is based on basic Elliott wave forecasting in which there is a model and the simplest, simplest of the outcome for wave five forecasting is that it typically can be about equal to wave one. Now, the other particular study that I entered into Kitco is, is quite different. And it is quite unique in terms of what I was doing. But in this, this is our Elliott Wave extension from what we call our long count or major count. And as you can see here, this major count looks at really the beginning of this rally back in 2008. We are looking at a daily chart, but as you can see, it moves up this channel to reach this new high. This new high, uh, of course, was 1809. The market backed down and came to a 23% retracement level of this really almost linear rally up here. Now, what I did to come up with this specific price target, which is 1809 and 1886, was as follows. We simply took a Fibonacci extension from the beginning of this rally in 2008 all the way up to October, November of 2009. And that particular price move we then carried forward and then extended that move up. Now, what I did not explain in the Kitco article is why I used this particular sequence or this amount of the move itself to use for the extension and why I picked this particular point to begin the extension. In essence, what I am looking to do is to break a five cycle move, a five wave move into two halves and go roughly halfway through or the middle of the third wave, which of course would give us about half of the move and therefore carry it forward from there. Now, based on those numbers, 
you know that I have been quite strong about that 1809 number. We've talked about that for weeks. We talked about that prior to the market ever coming close to that point. My first targets, of course, were 1680, and that was followed by this 1809. The next Fibonacci sequence number after 23, of course, is 38.2. And so that if we have seen a market which has gone and reached these highs, A. B, if we've then seen that market correct, and we are now entering wave five, my sentiment is that wave five should go to the next logical target level, and thereby, this is how I came up with this 1880 as my new upper level target. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading, and we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye. Many sights to see And when I look in my window So many different people to be That it's strange